hello hello everyone welcome to my channel so we are discussing about quantum theory so quantum theory is very interesting and very popular uh, subject in for any inter, uh, internet scientist so it's very vital theory uh, very workable and it's a basic concept of uh, nuclear physics so at 19 the scientist max planck introduced us with his quantum theory and sir albert einstein after discovering the photon made a little correction to his theory so these two are the main workers behind the theory sir albert einstein and max planck and uh, let's start about the theory the quantum is the unit of energy any kind of energy we feel is integral multiple of quantum so quantum the word quantum means energy uh, quantum is the least count of energy we have so if we feel any charge any kind of charge or energy can be two quantum or three quantum or four five six quantum but not at fraction like 1.5 quantum 1.6 quantum this could not be happen so integral integral multiple of quantum is possible but not at fraction fractional multiple and then here comes the quarks quarks is a very vital thing in quantum theory but i don't know something better than that uh, quarks uh, the smallest unit to make any subatomic particles as the theory says quarks are not independent but the makes but this makes the subatomic particles like electron proton or neutron etc so quarks makes an electron proton or neutron uh, all the bodies are made of quarks it's a concept and uh, Mm, quarks are not independent it's always mm, it's always a team and make something uh, bodies so here you can see the picture okay so if we talk about quantum mechanics quantum theory so a simple example i am giving if you throw a ball in what is the reality what is the reality uh, if you throw a ball towards a wall it will collide and move back but the quantum theory says that the ball has 0.0001% tendency to break the wall just imagine you you have a very very few pocket money and you brought a uh, your dream ball now you want to play with your wall and the ball your father is not in home your mother is work and you throw that ball towards the wall and the wall breaks now what do you have neither your pocket money nor your ball and your mother and father will be angry on you so this is a main disadvantage of quantum theory not only me max planck also gets shocked by his own theory it's a hypothesis but but it's real that the ball has 0.001% tendency to break the wall now comes photon and photoelectric effect which gave sir albert einstein a nobel in a particle is is a particle of really negligible mass you know uh, in physics we discuss about negligible mass uh, in various types of calculations we say that this this is the negligible mass this has negligible mass this is negligible value etc 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 but this is the photon which has really negligible value and photon is the Uh, i mean photon is the unit particle made um, to make a light light is made of fully photon okay so to make light you need photon and photons are almost massless also higgs field also comes to fail catch it higgs field you know no higgs field is a, a field which equally distributed among the universe it it is responsible to make the mass create the mass anything you put in higgs field i mean you can't you can't do anything without higgs field higgs field exists our mass exists because higgs field exists higgs field is uh, unique it's it is every time everywhere any kind of way in any 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 form anything just you imagine a crowd it's a pub and fully of some people if you uh, imagine yourself as a proton 
proton or photon okay imagine yourself as a photon so if a photon goes through the higgs field only three or four higgs boson can attach with it if you go through the higgs uh, that crowd so only two or three people you know maybe uh, talk to you but if sir albert einstein it's a massive thing in higgs field sir albert einstein if uh, sir albert einstein uh, comes to the crowd so all the crowds will be uh, focused to him and his weight is very high this is the same thing uh, in higgs field so higgs field is responsible for mass but the photon almost escapes the higgs field okay so the first the proton was believed as a massless particle but as observed when the light uh, falls metals like sodium it emits electrons from that the con cons conclusion was photons are really lightweight now you can say why this conclusion is from this type of experiment because um, in a in a metal plate if you put light and you see electrons are coming out then something something is responsible to uh, gear the electron to accelerate the electron and anything have mass zero anything have mass zero can't accelerate any any kind of bodies or any kind of things so there is a mass of photon that's why it can accelerate the electrons but photons are really lightweight really very very lightweight you you i i never heard something almost almost we all almost not it's sure that we all never heard something uh, like uh, someone collided with light and uh, uh, fall asleep or uh, blah, blah 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 so light is light is zero mass light has mass zero so photons almost massless but yes it has a very little mass application of quantum mechanics now these are the some different points of quantum mechanics we talked now we are coming to the applications of quantum mechanics the first application are solar panels solar panels is direct application of photoelectric effect uh, first invented by sir albert einstein so a silicon plate or something plate here comes light electron emits and the the emitted electron preserved from that the charges were extracted and somehow we get electricity well electrons are the main power of electricity so electrons are moving that's why electricity is creating main theory then another application is satellite you know radioactivity you know about radioactivity so anything radioactive element that we put on a satellite and uh, leave it as at a freezer you know satellite has a, a unique range to um, be workable so if we put a if we put a satellite in a freezer so it may be freezed but there is a uh, there is a radioactive element in the satellite that's why it will remain hot from the radioactive element gamma rays are produced gamma rays are emits so th this gamma rays will force the uh, temperature to remain high that's why uh, in the moon orbiting system or moon landing system when the moons are in uh, moon is uh, half side dark when the satellite is or the rover is the dark side of moon so it may be freezed but only for that radioactive element it becomes workable only for that radioactive element it is workable and uh, now comes rocket propulsion this is the brief encounter of uh, quantum mechanics the first picture is um, xenon engine or ion engine and the second is nuclear thermal engine in the ion engine the yellow dots are electrons the chamber is here the blue particles are uh, xenon xenon is fired and electrons are fired to ionize xenon then xenon are ionized so this green plate is cathode plate here xenon is attracted 
and by the holes in green plate the xenons are mm, thrusted outside then we put a electron gun in the outside of the chamber and it neutralizes the xenon if we don't if we do not neutralize the xenon it will attracted once more to the cathode plate and the thrust will be cancelled so we need a more electron gun and thus the ion engine works but it has a very low thrust to make a high thrust we use this, this nuclear thermal rocket engine in this the hydrogen tank here the hydrogen goes and here is a radioactive element or nuclear power supply which heats the hydrogen and the hydrogen has a very high kinetic energy that's why it forces outside and makes a huge thrust that's why rocket blows up now delta 5 rocket you know about delta 5 rocket delta 5 rocket has the third stage of nuclear thermal engine which can go for mars now the most discussed discussed question is time travel possible well is time travel possible is the most discussed question my answer is yes time travel is possible but how yes how how if and only if we achieve the speed of light look if we go very close to speed of light then what will happen the outer surface outer world will uh, remain at its own speed but i am going to very very high speed like speed of light very close to speed of light that's why physics will physics will force me physics will resist me to uh, be faster than light that's why i will be very slow so the result is paradox it means if we uh, reach very close to speed of light then the time goes forward and when we come rest comes rest then we will see that uh, the world is almost 100 to 200 years advanced uh, imagine a train you are a uh, passenger imagine you are the only passenger your brother or your father anybody anybody uh, in the station and you boarded the train the train uh, moved around the earth in the speed of light and uh, after one hour you come out the train what will you see you see that your father or brother anybody will be uh, who was one hour before 21 years old or um, uh, 19, 50 years old anybody, uh, anything 21 years old your brother imagine so one year one hour old one hour before your brother was 21 years old and after you come out of the train you will see that your brother is almost 100 150 years old this is the thing happens if we um, travel very close to light speed so we can visit the future and to visit the past we need to be faster than light if we faster than light then time will be reversed that's why we will see the past so this is the main theory behind time travel well i am not a scientist not a professional lecturer so maybe mm, heard very very low quality but uh, forgive me for that and join us on facebook virtual spacex link in description and please subscribe and put the like and put the bell icon thank you